So it's a rainy day, but it is grape picking day. And if you can see, the grapes are ready. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do is pick the rest of these grapes and then show you what I'm gonna do with Here, them. I get so excited when the grapes come in because it means I'm gonna be making jelly. And this is how I do it. So right here I have four and a half pounds of grapes. I'm just gonna put them in my pan. So just use a medium heat, add a cup and a half of water, and if you see any stems, just go ahead and pick them out. A stem or two is okay because we're gonna strain everything anyways. See, it's been cooking for about 15 minutes and the grapes are already giving off their color into the liquid. So what you wanna do is just cook everything down. You want all the grapes to pop, mash everything down. And the grapes are cooked down and they're all mushed up. And they don't look like grapes anymore. The next thing you wanna do is strain out all the juice. So take a measuring cup and two sieves. And then two. Just strain everything out. Just get rid of all that. I got six and a half cups of grape juice. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put it in big saucepan. Add in the juice of the lemon. While this is warming up, go ahead and add two pouches of pectin. Make sure you stir it in well. You really want to dissolve the pectin. Once you have a simmer and the pectin is all dissolved in, go ahead and add your sugar. It's really important that you dissolve all the sugar. Once all the sugar is dissolved, go ahead and turn up the heat. You want to bring this up to a rolling boil. For a rapid rolling boil that you can stir and it continues to boil. So once you have that, you can turn off your heat, get your jars ready. So carefully ladle the jelly into the jars. Don't film all the way to the top. You want to leave a little space and put the lids right on. Go ahead and finish up filling the rest of your jars. Once you've reached the boil, you can go ahead and drop your cans for your jars right in to the water bath. I like to put the lid on just to help the heat rise because what you're looking for is a rolling boil. And even though it's boiling, it's not at a rolling boil yet. So go ahead and let it heat up a little bit more and I'll show you what it looks like. So that is a rolling boil. And once you have that achieved, you can go ahead and place the lid. Be careful of the steam and set a 10 minute timer. After the 10 minute timer has gone off, carefully lift off the lid, turn off the heat, and let the boil subside a little bit. Once you're comfortable, just go ahead and get your jars. So once you take them all out of the water bath, just let them sit until you hear the magical little pop and you know that they have sealed.